everybody and welcome to another edition of Poland Daily Travel. This time I'm here in Upper Silesia, but Upper Silesia is very far south in Poland. In fact, where I am in the tiny town, well, it's not a tiny town, but it's not a large metropolis, the town of Ratchaborsz, it's uh, of about 50,000 people. Here, we're almost on the Czech border. It's not too far away. And you're about to see something, the purpose which is the purpose of this particular journey, and that is the River Oder, or as the Polish call it. And we're in Poland, so we'll say the way the Polish do, the Odra River. Here it is, right behind me, right in the middle of Ratchaborsz. Now, the Odra River starts in the Czech Republic near Olomouc. Olomouc is a, is a town south of Ostrava, and uh, on the way, on the freeway that goes to Brno, Brno, B-R-N-O. Anyway, the, uh, the river is rising there uh, in these uh, midlands. It's uh, about 150 kilometers from here, so it's not so far. Just over the Czech border, which is 30 kilometers, 25 kilometers from where we are now, if it's that far. At any rate, the Odra then runs all the way from the Czech Republic, cuts across Silesia to the west, to the north and west, continues all the way up to a place called Szczecin. The Germans call it Stettin. Try and stay Szczecin at home 15 times really fast, and you'll find that it's not as easy as I made it. I didn't make it sound easy, did I? It's not easy. Szczecin. The Szczecin Lagoon goes all the way up to the Baltic. That's how long the Odra is. It's the third longest river in Poland after, of course, the Vistula. You all know that, the Wisła, as the Poles call it, or uh, the Varto River, uh, which uh, is the second longest, according to my information. Correct me if I'm wrong. At any rate, um, it seems a rather uh, inviting uh, river you might take a kayak on on a lazy or, uh, afternoon or uh, Sunday afternoon or even one of those uh, one of those paddle things that looks like a duck or a swan or something like that you just paddle leisurely along well that's what it looks like here but as we go further north as you will see in this sequence of programs on as we go along the Audra River you're going to see that it becomes larger and larger uh, as you as you go north until it becomes uh, quite a large uh, uh, a large uh, flow of water at the uh, at the Audra, uh, sorry the Szczecin lagoon or the mouth of the Audra river at any rate this is where we start our journey this is the Audra as it comes into town you can see the spire of the of the main church or one of the two main churches on the town square is just there you can come by. Yeah. It's just there in the, in the background. That's the, the old uh, medieval square. And then this is the river flowing from the Czech Republic and coming right under us and then going this way, as you can see, going north to Apollo and eventually to Wrocław and then up the, uh, up the border all the way to, to Szczecin, that easy town to pronounce. You can try the German pronunciation. It's called Stettin. Yep. All of this region of Poland, um, Donislavsk, that's lower Silesia, and uh, upper Silesia, where we are now, two main towns being Ratchaborz and, and Opola, historically. Um, all of these uh, towns have a decidedly German and Polish mixture in architecture and in history. And uh, in fact, the city was uh, in Germany until the end of World War II uh, for about uh, two centuries, as I remember. Um, so uh, interesting, interesting to note that flowing, flowing from, from uh, Moravia in the Czech Republic and going this way towards, towards its eventual rendezvous with the boundary, with the borderline uh, 
of Germany. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow night as we journey from the south to the north along the Odra River in Poland. Join us for these episodes.